Hey everyone, my name is Ru and we are here. This is going to be week seven of the UBL, the very final week against Skyrander. And Skyrander and I are kind of in a playoff hunt here, right? So um, I absolutely need to win this match in order to confirm a playoff spot. And I believe he can lose and still um, make it in if some other things happen. But I am playing for my spot. And honestly, this is the most thought that I put into a team prior to uh, the match. All season long and it's probably the most that i put into it all generation long right so i really do have some ways i think of managing his threats and it's going to be a huge back and forth right because i do have a dracovish that uh can sub up on the jellicent it uh can take a shadow ball and uninvest a shadow ball all but six percent of the time and it's just going to be a matter of not losing to that Darmanitan. Okay, sorry about that. We did have some issues, but uh, again, I just have to not lose to Darmanitan. And I do have a couple of things um, up my sleeve for that, but I guess we're just going to get right into it. And I want to make sure that I have, um, that I'm ready to be able to take a screenshot of the team. So we do see the Rhyperior, the Jellicent, Galvantula, Galvantula, Darmanitan, Turtonator, and the Whimsicott. Okay, so right off the bat, no Quillfish. Okay, no Quillfish is legitimately huge. Legitimately huge. No Scrafty. And no Bronzong. Okay, no Bronzong is also ginormous. But also no Braviary. No Braviary is moderately sizable. But no Quillfish blows my mind a little bit. Okay, so part of me just wants to lead off with the Dracovish and just kind of dare the the Jelson to want to come on in but that's probably not the best um hmm it's between Dracovish and Cinderace for me but I'm not entirely sure what I would want to do here Cinderace feels really good to me man I might just do it because, okay, the one issue with Dracovish is that I know he likes to lead off with Darmanitan. So, I might... Yeah. That's the only reason. I mean, honestly, in all honesty, um... The more likely lead does seem to be the Galvantula, but... Just the fact that I've seen him lead uh, Darmanitan a, a handful of times gives me a lot of concern here. Um, but yeah, Galvantula does make a whole ton of sense here. Galvantula does make a whole ton of sense. I can just straight up try to pyro ball it uh, and bring it down to Sash. I think mm, I think that's a reasonably no drawback. Um, it does allow in the Rhyperior for absolutely free. But yeah, Sash would be super duper problematic. Cinderace and... Yeah. I don't think there's any use in really trying to debate this. I think... I don't see any way that Galvantula would take a Pyro Ball unless it is Sashed, and it, it almost definitely is Sashed based on what uh, what's going on now, but, um, just getting, no, it's not Sashed, okay, okay, so this will allow on the, the Rhyperior, which is very problematic, but it does keep webs off the field, I don't know, mm, I don't know, the way that that happened kind of makes me feel like, or maybe just didn't know that I was, no, I don't know, because I didn't reveal Scarf yet, and yeah, that's a very obvious Rhyperior moment, but... But I can play around this, especially now that my Claydol is a lot less, is a lot more expendable, I should say. I do kind of want to go into Claydol now. I really don't want to allow this thing to set up at all. But do I have better options here? I don't know. I'm going to, I'm going to see what happens here. I really want to see what, what happens here. By going into Claydol, and worst case scenario, I can try to set up rocks. I can try to make something happen here. Let's go for a Mega Horn. So absolutely predicted me, but I don't think it's going to matter. Again, the Claydol is super duper expendable here. I don't see a whole lot of reason to really want to have the Claydol for the for the entire match. Now here is a huge moment where I would 100% teleport if I still had teleport on this set. I switched out teleport for Hex only because um uh, it was the only um TM or, or TR that I had available to me. And we do take it. Which could be important. Well no, I'm never going to get a chance to rapid spin because of the raw. Because if I do rapid spin then I'd be 
rocks right there. So I'm just gonna sack this thing up. It, it, it really, I, I feel like doesn't matter here. But Rhyperior. I think what's gonna happen here. I think what's gonna happen here is I can go into Dracovish and I can get a sub up on the on the Jellicent, on the incoming Jellicent. Um, because, uh, I did some calking, right? And the only way that Dracovish takes, or Rhyperior takes a Ficious Rend is if it is max defense impish Pashoberry. It has to be all those things to, to guarantee take a Ficious Rend. And, and that's only because I'm not adamant. If I was, if I... I was adamant then it would be an entirely different story so I, I don't think that he would want to especially yet yeah, because of the damage the amount of damage that uh this thing has been doing i think that's not really something i want to mess around with here now again um i built this dracovish specifically to take a, an uninvested shadow ball all but six percent of the time so 94 percent of the time i'm taking a shadow ball here and um just to make that happen i had to uh Assuming that this is a max defense Jellicent, in order to make all of that happen, I had to... Um... Okay, there, there's the Colber, but uh, that's not that big a deal. Um... If, again, I don't get my sub broken, I don't think that that's a huge, huge deal. But, <laughs> that is a defense drop, which is reasonably huge. Does go for the Hex, so even better uh, for me, because I that should never break. And I should be able to... Does he have any reasonable switches into... No, I don't think so. He really doesn't have any solid switches into this. He doesn't really have any solid switches into this. And... I will lose my sub, which is unfortunate. Does withdraw. Um... Goes into the Whimsicott. As I crunch again... Uh, he could be trying to Encore me into Crunch, but if that's, um, the best that he has, I don't see that as the worst thing in the world for me. But I can try to click Psychic Fangs, which is at least going to deal a little bit more damage. But as long as I'm behind a sub, I don't think he has anything besides Encore that can really, um, mess with me too, too badly. Now, it is a U-turn here. It would be interesting if I do, if, yeah, okay. It would be interesting if this, if the sub didn't fade. But, uh, unfortunately it will. I don't... Um, now, he didn't see Psychic Fangs before, so I could maybe catch him off guard with something here. But, essentially, my strategy... My entire strategy is kind of a high-low strategy, where Dracovish is built to kind of take on his slower threats, like the uh, Bronzong, like the Rhyperior, like the, um... Like the Jellicent. And my Cinderace is, is more than capable of taking on his faster threats, like the, um like the yeah he definitely i don't know I, i'm not sure what he expected me to do there but i can pretty freely crunch i think right this thing didn't outspeed me did it uh i don't see a downside to just clicking crunch but yeah the faster threats like the darmanitan my cinderace is uh scarfed with enough speed to outspeed any darmanitan so i don't see any way that the darmanitan would beat me now that the webs are not on the field um Again, I'm super duper curious. I'm so very curious to know um, what kind of, what kind of, I really should have clicked Psychic Fang, shouldn't I have? Yeah, I should have. Because he can do this, and yeah. Yeah, that, yeah that's definitely problematic, but uh, this thing is getting worn down. This thing is definitely getting worn down. And now what I can do is, um, I know it seems like uh, my matchup against Whimsicott is not great, but that is exactly why I built this. Well, do I really want to do that? No, no. This is what this thing is built for. This thing. This is what this thing is built for. Now, what he can do is U-turn. Is attempt to U-turn out into into Darmanitan. And if he does that, if he does that, does okay. Goes for the Moon Blast. That's totally fair. And there's nothing that really wants to take. Oh, that is specs. That is 100% specs. I'm pretty positive. I'm almost positive that's Specs. Um, but yeah, Duraludon. 
Yeah, Duraludon can honestly... I think I think Turtonator would, would want to come in. If the Turtonator does come in, what does more Dark Pulse or Body Press? Turtonator Blink Set. Uh, it looks like Dark Pulse does slightly more, although neither of them do much of anything. But does it KO this thing in front of me? I think he's going to value this thing, though. But I'm almost positive that Specs. I think that's the only way he does that much damage. It, yeah, it, it's almost definitely Specs. I think he's going to want to... I think he's going to value this thing. And if it is Specs, then worst case scenario, I can deal with it with Cinderace. Yeah, this thing comes in. That's fine. That's fine. So Claydol gets the KO on that one. But I think it's going to invite in Turtonator. I think it's going to invite in Turtonator. And that's going to be a problem for me, I guess. Turtonator can definitely Shell Smash. I can try to hit it. Get some damage. I think my saving grace is going to be... Oh no, it goes into this thing. Okay, so... Okay, so I very specifically built my Darmanitan, or my, my uh, Dur Duraludon, to be able to take... Well, no, I think I just go into my dedicated switch in, which is my Sovali Water. I, I very specifically built this thing to be able to, after rocks, take an Earthquake um, from a Scarfed Darmanitan. Um, I, I needed to be like 36 bold uh, in, in order to do that, but uh, I am able to, to do that and, and still be able to take hits from a Specs Whimsicott with my entire, um, with my entire, uh, uh, Assault Vest set and, and still have enough EVs to kind of manage the rest of his threats. I'm going to Parting Shot here because there's really no downside. Uh, worst case scenario, I get to go into my Cinderace and, uh, kind of deal with whatever he wants to do here. I, there's, there's no reason he would want to stay in here. Um, the best thing, I guess, he would, I mean, best case would be Turtonator, I guess, or, or to be fair, the Whimsicott as well. Um, I mean, the biggest thing that, that I'd be curious about is if the, uh, is if the Turtonator, oh, I'm, okay, so I'm, I'm really interested to see if this thing is White Herb because of any potential Shell Smash sets. I'd be super curious about that. It's not, okay. But what is my best answer to a Turtonator here? What is my best answer to a Turtonator here? I mean, probably just my... Yeah. He doesn't have the best answers left... To this thing. Hmm. He could go hard into Rhyperior. He could absolutely go hard into Rhyperior. And honestly, I kind of have to sack something to Rhyperior. If he goes into Rhyperior, what is my what is my counterplay? I mean, I probably just sack uh, I probably just sack Duraludon at that point, right? I mean, I really want to click Grass Knot. I desperately want to click click Grass Knot here. No, I can just Dazzling Gleam and at least get damage on onto the Rhyperior, even though it's gonna do less damage and and not give me um. Okay, let's make it the Dazzling Gleam off. This is going to be. Uh, wow, okay. Sh does go for the Shell Smash. Uh, this thing is still... This thing is still... This thing only gets the plus one because of the parting shot. So, I think I take any hit here. And I could just pick up the KO with the Dazzling Gleam. Now, another thing that, that is very, very important to note is that... Um, Coming into this, yikes! That was a crit. Yeah, that was definitely a crit. Yeah, okay. That that yeah. Yeah, yeah. That was definitely a crit. Okay, okay. That's a. That's very unfortunate for a bunch of different reasons. But uh, what does that allow me to do here? I think I have to go out into this thing, right? Because Turtonator, max speed Turtonator at plus two. Let me see. At plus two speed. I think I have to assume timid, right? I think my Cinderace still outspeeds it. Yeah, timid plus two. Still gets outsped by my Cinderace. So here's the really interesting thing here. 
I think... I think high jump kick. If I land every high jump kick, I think it actually wins the game from here. Without the Jellicent, right? It KOs a Turtonator. I think the Whimsicott might be low enough where I KO it. Um, I definitely KO Darmanitan, and Rhyperior... Okay, Rhyperior's gonna be an issue. I think Rhyperior takes a hit. But, I mean, it comes really, really close to winning me the game. Um, and the unfortunate thing is, I, I don't think I can mess around with the Rhyperior at all, so if he does bring in the Rhyperior right after this, I think I have to save Cinderace, because, again, Cinderace potentially just wins the match from here. Um, if... Rhyperior comes in right now. If Rhyperior comes in right now, then I pretty easily just sack off Duraludon, I'm pretty sure. That allows me to bring in Sylvali. I can... I mean, at that point, I can just Surf, right? But how much damage am I doing to a Rhyperior? This thing is, om this thing is definitely just banded, just like max HP banded. I know he likes to run th that kind of set, and yeah, High Jump Kick is doing a lot of damage. But yeah, right now I just sack off... Well, no, I can sack off to Duraludon and bring in the... And bring in the Dracovish. Because he's, he's never going to want to switch out in that situation. He pulls a double. Okay, okay. Interesting. I don't know what he expected. He, I, he, no, no, he he for sure thought that I was going to go into, into Sovali Water. He for sure thought that I was going to go in, into Sovali Water there. But now I'm now I'm in an even better position than I than I originally thought. Although I really do have to watch the timer. I I'm going to watch the timer right now. Um. Yeah, I really have to watch the timer now. Um, I still definitely need. I I, I think the combination of Cinderace and Dr and Dr uh, Dr Dracovish ultimately al always wins me the matchup here. But it's going to be difficult. <laughs> um, given the, yeah, given the way that this matchup started, I did not think that it was going to be this difficult. But uh, it is definitely this difficult. It is definitely this difficult, and he's definitely okay. My time is not terrible. But yeah, he can definitely just take out Duraludon here. I can go into Silvali Water. Actually, do I even KO here? Wow, he clicks Icicle. That is wild to me. Okay. Darmanitan. Assuming it's a Scarf Darmanitan, which I know he loves. Um, I can go into Silvali Water. And... Yeah, it looks like Surf should take out here. Surf should take out unless I mean it's it, it it comes down to a roll. But either way, if he's locked in a if he's locked into um icicle crash, then it really doesn't matter a whole heck of a lot. I think Sovali can take it home right now, and if not, then Dracovish definitely does. If not, then Dracovish definitely does. I flinch. Okay, okay. Um, yeah, I don't. I, I, I'm struggling to see how Rhyperior takes it, unless it, unless it's Pasho Berry, but I have two water types. Even if he breaks through one, then he's going to struggle with the other, right? And I ideally take two of these. Yeah, I think I should be okay. As long as I don't flinch again, I do get the Surf off. Okay. Um, That is a KO. Okay, that's huge. And then I think I beat Rhyperior. I mean, I mean... His best way of winning would have been to to lock in, into Earthquake, but I think he knew that my Cinderace um, was Scarfed, and I guess he could have played off of me missing. But um, yeah, I, yeah, I guess I think he thought that um, that uh, that playing off of some kind of a high jump kick miss would have been the optimal play here. But yeah, I don't see any possible way that he would take a surf here. He does take a surf. Okay. Very, very interesting. Goes for the metal burst. But now was it was it Pasho Berry? Did I just miss a Pasho? It just had to be like really specially defensive. But I don't think it should matter. I think I mean if anything, I really want to give the, the KO to Cinderace right now. Um I mean I'll 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 go for it. I don't think 
I mean, the only way that this thing could really, really beat me if it's, if, if it's, it is if it's rock polish, but I'm almost positive that it's, um, not that. Um, although, again, I, I could be choking, although, by every indication, every indication is that high jump kick, if it lands, should KO. We do land it, we do KO, and that's going to be our season. We end off the season 5-2, and two, and again, uh, this was a lot, a lot, a lot more difficult than I would have expected it to be. But, uh, somehow, somehow we did it. I think it was, I, I think this thing had to be, like, max special defense, unless it's Pasho and I completely missed it. But, um, yeah, that took a lot of, a lot of planning for me to, to make happen. That, that took a lot, a lot of planning, but, uh, every bit of it came through for me. I would be very, very curious as to what that Galvantula item is, because, um, if it was Focus Ash, then, then my Claydol is forced to Scarf into Rapid Spin, which is fine, but then... Um, I don't get rocks up, then my matchup against the Darmanitan is a little bit more dubious. Um, with, with, um, I, well, maybe, I don't know, because my, my matchup against the Darmanitan is dubious with the Sovali, but Sovali potentially put, is in 2k range, and, and even if it isn't, it weakens the Darmanitan enough, unless he fl super flinches me out. Um, it weakens it enough where Cinderace still comes in, then it has to hit two high jump kicks, but... Um, at that point, I probably don't even mess around with high jump kicks. I probably go for, like, Zen Headbutt or something and rely on Dracovish to try to close out the match for me. So, maybe that's my path, and maybe it didn't matter a whole heck of a lot, but, um, it was definitely, it was, it was a very, very stressful prep process, and like I said, this was the most planning I put into a team in the entire gen. It was very, very stressful to build, but that is how this week is going to end. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll be back really, really soon with more weeks, um... With which I believe the UBL playoffs, uh, we are sitting at five and two. I think that guarantees us a seed, um, unless something crazy happens. My differential is terrible because of the two timer wins, but uh, like I said, that's going to be the week, and we're just going to have to see whatever happens. Um, but we will be back really, really soon with more weeks of the NCP Nimbus uh, Wi-Fi division, as well as uh, more weeks of the APA Academy. But once again, with that, thank you guys so much for watching. Going to be once again out.